Hello, this is Maya Andreasen, and today we are going to create a global control uh, with a scaling attribute on it in order to move our entire character. Um, so this was going to be separate from the foot controls, which will allow the character to walk or run or dance. Um, this is a control that will allow us to move or rotate um, the entire rig uh, at once. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a NURBS circle. And I'm going to make it bigger. Now you can keep the NURBS circle in the middle of the body if you want. You can, um, oftentimes what I do is I move it so that it is... Uh, level or flush with the feet of the character, with the bottom feet of the character. However, if you are going to be scaling the character and it's going to be getting smaller, um, it's going to be relative to uh, basically the location of this circle. So I am actually going to keep my global control this time in the center kind of, um, of everything. So, what we want to do is we want to name it. So I'm going to go to my channels and call this CC underscore global 01. And I'm also going to freeze transformations and delete history. So that's going to get rid of any values over here on our channels and any history down there. And so now that we've created our global control, the next thing we are going to do, looks like I have an empty group, let's get rid of it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to parent it to the boy rig 01. So with my CC Global 01 selected, I'm going to control select boy rig 01 in my outliner and hit P to parent. So now the global 01 control is parented to the rig or to the boy rig um, uh, main group. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this custom attribute. So I'm going to go Edit in my channels box, add attribute. And the attribute, we're going to call it char, short for character, scale. It's going to be keyable and float. We're going to have a minimum of 0 0.1. And our default, and you notice this default changes to 0 0.1, that's a problem. We don't want the default to be 0 0.1. We want the default to be 1. And that means that our character will be scaled at default at the current size that our character is right now. So minimum 0 0.1, leave maximum open and default one and click OK. And when we do that, we now have this brand new um, attribute. The attribute doesn't do anything. If we were to make this five, nothing would happen. So let's put it back to one. And we're going to have to do some connections. We're going to do the connections in something called the connection editor, which makes a lot of sense. So if we go to Window, General Editors, Connection Editor, it's going to open up. And we're going to see all of our channels here, including our brand new attribute. By the way, if you open up the Connection Editor and it looks like this, um, the reason why is because you have non-keyable attributes showing. So in order to turn those off, go to uh, the menu of the Connection Editor, Left Display, and uncheck Show Non-Keyable. And then we have something a little bit more manageable. Uh, so we need to connect our global control to the global move group. The global move group has our control objects, our IKs, and our joints. And so we want to connect it to all those things, which is why we're going to connect it to the group itself. So I'm going to reload that on the right. And now I'm going to make these connections. I'm going to connect translate to translate. And when you do that, you're going to see over here in global move 01, that all my translate X, Y, and Z um, attributes, they all have this yellow um, rectangles next to them, and that means that they are connected to something. In this case, they're connected to the global uh, controls translate channels. We're going to connect rotate from CC global on one to rotate of global move. And we're going to connect char scale, <laughs> our custom attribute, to scale X, Y, and Z of the global move 01. So you hit the little plus sign here and that opens up those options. And then we're gonna hit close and we're gonna test it out. So if I select my character scale, if I did 0.5, as we can see, my character rig itself is actually scaled down to 
I haven't skinned my character yet, so that is why uh, the character itself didn't get smaller. Um, if I put it down to 0.1, it scales down to 0.1, and because we kept our control in the center of our character, as you can see, it stays in the center of our character. If we moved it to the character's feet, uh, they would be way down here, so it just stays relative to the center of the character, which is great. Uh, we're going to put it back to 1 right now and make our character visible again, and we need to do some cleanup. So with my uh, global control selected, I am going to uh, lock and hide scale X, Y, Z, and visibility. So I'm going to go to the channels menu and go channels, lock and hide selected. So I have translate, rotate, and uh, character scale all available. And I can move my character around. Let's make the, this invisible. I can move my character rig around where I want it to go. I can also rotate it. Okay, so that's great. And I can scale it. Let's see. Let's, I think this will be, hopefully you can view this a little bit better. If I made this five, it gets ginormous. And if I made it 0.1, it's super tiny. I can put it back to one. All right, and uh, this is how your outliner should appear. Um, the global CC global one is right here. And our global move one, let's clean this up too. I'm going to select all of my channels here, every single one of them. And I'm going to go to channels, lock and hide selected so I don't accidentally break those connections. Uh, my CC global one is fixed. And that is how you create a global control. Till next time, bye-bye.